Hello everyone and welcome back to Phantom Sports Industries. My name is Joe Soison. I'm a contributor for Phantom's Hockey Content and today I wanted to focus on the fantasy hockey world because the fantasy hockey staff at NHL Fantasy uh, on NHL.com released an article recently on November 18th uh, about the top 200 players in the league right now. And I wanted to specifically focus on their top five and why they are so significant to their respective teams. So it should be a fun top five. Let's get this started. And number five, Jack Hughes. In 11 games, he has 22 points, but he is injured. His presence when he's on the ice demands attention. Tied for 6th most assists in the league. Tied for 13th most points in the league. The next closest players on this top 200 ranking list are Jesper Bratt at 45, Tyler Toffoli at 51, and Dougie Hamilton at number 60. This team is full of snipers, but they need someone who can dish the rock. And that is Jack Hughes. He is their man, and he's earned a ton of points because of it. But they do miss him. They are struggling without him. The Devils got off to a hot start this year. But currently, they are sitting at a record of 8-7-1 and one, with a minus 3 goal differential. They need him back so that the Devils can get back on track. And number 4, Nikita Kucherov for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Look, Nikita Kucherov is playing well, but the team is a little bit behind. Kucherov is currently the highest scoring player in the NHL with a negative goal differential or plus minus. Minus three right now is what he's at. But he has 13 goals and 14 assists this season. That puts him tied for the fourth most points in the league. And you won't find another player that's as well-rounded as Kucherov in that list. But his success shows you how dangerous this team will be if Vasilevsky returns at 100%. Vasilevsky was scheduled to be close by the end of the month, and Tampa is not that far from a playoff spot thanks to the effort of the Lightning skaters, the Lightning forwards, and in particular, Nikita Kucherov's efforts. And number three, David Pasternak. For the Boston Bruins, a lot of this story is defense, but Pasternak is the one bringing the firepower. Look, Boston is tied for the 17th most goals for in the league, so middle of the pack. But Pasternak is tied for the 6th most goals in the league, and tied for the 4th most points in the league as well. It's not line chemistry, he's just a stud. And Boston needs the scoring. They're middle of the pack in total shots against, and while the goalies for this team are once again having a spectacular year, Boston is 19th in shots for this season. So they don't get a ton of opportunities. They're just below the middle of the pack. They need all the offensive help they can get, and Pasternak is the one delivering on that point. And number two, Leon Dreisaitl. Needed a player to step up, and Dreisaitl has. Tied for 11th most assists. Tied for 16th most points. Third most goals on the team. And one of three players on this squad who has a positive plus minus. It's only plus one, but on a team with a goal differential currently sitting at minus 14. On a team who currently, by the way, sits in 30th place in the NHL. In all the chaos, you need someone who can be the bedrock of the team. Who can be the, uh, the player to help you weather the storm. Coach gets fired. McDavid gets hurt. Question mark at goaltender. Chaos in the early part of the season. And yet, Dreisaitl is still here racking up the points for Edmonton. And number one, Connor McDavid. Look, injured early in the year, missed two games, and he still gets number one on their list. He's an all-world talent, demands focus when he's on the ice. And again, it's a slow start to the year. Edmonton is well behind schedule. But McDavid with four goals, nine assists, and a plus-minus at minus four, 
he's still too important to ignore. And his impact is immediate. They've had nine games in a row now where they've scored two or more goals. But what the fantasy reps are saying here is that McDavid and Dreisaitl, one and two on their list, are revitalizing this offense. And that offense, just like in previous years, will always give them a chance. And at this point, that's all you can ask for if you're Edmonton. Well, that's it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like our content, be sure to click that like button down below and also be sure to click the subscribe button to get notified of future uploads to this very channel. Also be sure to check out our official site, that's phantomsportsindustries.com, where we do updates around the sports world. Once again, thank you all so much for watching. My name's been Joe Soison, and from Phantom Sports Industries, we hope to see more of you next time.